Hi, welcome to the Price Action Analyst YouTube channel. This is the VIX, um, the VXX. Um, it's a stock trading idea. This is an ETF. And this is for people that don't know, this is an ETF uh, of the volatility of the market. So uh, this very strong breakout in February was the beginning of the COVID stuff where the market took a dive. So you can see the volatility jump. Um, high large volume spike so this is representative of market um, volatility but uh, I'm just when I look at these I treat them as the same as any other liquid instrument so you know it's relatively um, not very volatile price action there but in a downtrend and then a, a pop out on high volume and eventually painted a series of bigger wicks outside the Bollinger Band and that has been the start of the retracement and this retracement didn't spike out it's been consolidating in a downward trend but very recently you've had a breakout on the upside with another volume spike and a retracement to the trend line here and so whether price comes to the trend line and uh, proceeds upwards or price comes in deeper and tests this area of air here uh, remains to be seen but I'm now basically waiting for my entry signal again down break out of that uptrend on high volume and a retrace so I'm just waiting for for my trigger to enter so what's that gonna look like it's it depends on what the price action does so uh, sorry I'll just go back to the candles so if tomorrow it does another one of those then I'll be in whether I'm in towards the end of the day or I'm in at the beginning of the day will depend on how the intraday price action looks but if I see substantial buying pressure anywhere here I'm I'm gonna be in and I generally will take a call option or a um, call debit spread on these types of trades um, this this one here with this retest I mean there remains there's a lot of upside like there's not really upside resistance until 48, 21, 52. And then if it passes that, it's, you know, it's likely to come up and at least test these highs. So there's potentially a lot of upside here. Um, so I'm just going down to intraday. And intraday is interesting because here's your breakout. And then here's a retest of the trend line. You can see you've got strength off of that retest right away. And so, you know, tomorrow, if even tomorrow, if it if like it was to open here and if the with like 10 minute bars, if it opened here and closed at the high and then was moving past that, then I think I'll probably just get long. Um, alternatively, if price kind of meanders down here tomorrow if it's weak then I'm just gonna watch and see what happens around this level and this level if I go to the bars um, be more that low there's no air there and then there was air on the intraday charts at this blue line and also these gaps the retest of these gaps are also good places to get long so it just depends the moment there's substantial buying pressure I will enter long and it's either gonna happen you know it's not gonna come down any lower and it's gonna happen or price is gonna come down and it'll happen off of a retrace but I just watch and see I let price action determine you know what I'm gonna do I'm following the price action not not the other way around um, but this is this is a l ideal long setup and I'm just waiting for my my for an entry something that's gonna make me enter and really like I keep saying it's just I'm just looking for the buyers to step in again and then I'm gonna join them
you know, on the hour bars, you can see there you had strength there, but you it left a big wick, and then that wick's acted as a barrier, like it hasn't pushed through that. But you know, if it opens tomorrow, it's probably going to come up and at least test here. And if it breaks that, then price is away. Um, if it starts to fall here, then it's just a matter of watching to see what it does. But you know, you're almost certainly going to get strength there, and. I don't think it's going to come back here, but if it does, that's kind of the area that I would watch um, to wait to wait and wait and see if there's uh, buying strength. Anyways, I hope that's helpful. I'll keep you updated. Um, maybe what I'll do is when I actually, if when I'm sort of when I get in and I'm long, I'll do another video just letting you know why and then an update to let you know how the trade's going. But that's a trade that I'm watching. That's the VIX VXX. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, if you have any requests or comments, please feel free to leave them. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks very much.